Nicodemus can't do shit but sit behind the motherfucker pretty and beat his dick to their jerseys. Ho? Jerseys? That's what you promote, all that motherfucking low shit. You can't hold the. Hey, keep, keep my motherfucking name out your mouth, ho. They ain't gonna tell you like I'ma tell you, ho. I'ma tell you, fuck you. Put your big motherfucking mind. Ho, don't speak on me. Cons is speaking on me. Fuck you. I mean, what's trying to do? End hey, and, and free and free and free KC. I don't want to say the name wrong because guess what? Nigga, nigga in the streets. He in the streets like we is. Nigga don't, don't speak on no street. Beat. Me and KC, this is some street. Don't be getting out. Beat. Hey, we real guys, man. We ain't got to plan no streets. And a nigga. Everybody playing no skits. Ho. Play with your motherfucking. Who love you? Academy play with somebody who love you. I ain't gonna say it, ho. I'ma say it. Fuck you, ho. Fuck you, motherfucker, me. Fuck you. Free KC out the motherfucking summer. He can't. Free KC out of all that. Fuck Academy. Fuck Academy. Fuck Academy. Fuck wrong with you, ho. Who the fuck you think you talking to? Fuck wrong with the motherfucking ho. Where the fuck he from? Where he from? I don't know. I don't even know where you from. Fuck like. Yo, UIP, you you're an unimportant person, homie. I ain't dissing him. Y'all cons trying to make this about KC. This ain't about KC. This about that This hammer. about a mother, that motherfucking academic. Her name ain't no AK. He ain't never shot no AK in your life. Call yourself no AK. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I'm talking about academics, free KC. And that's all I got to say. Fuck y'all. Oh, this is where you started, Joe. So, Glorilla essentially blocked Kai Sinat. I'm going to give you all the synopsis. I'm going to play the videos. Glorilla's an artist, used to be hot a year ago, was in a consideration for all the hottest, yo, newest, new artists of the year, best new artists of the year. In the span of a year, five artists took her spot. She's on her way out. And I'm going to tell you why she's on her way out. Because she lost the same essence she's trying to display tonight. And I'm going to actually show you why and what's the problem with people like Glorilla and what's the problem with the music industry? I'm going to break it down very eloquently for you, even though I'm off the Migos. Glorilla came in as the ratchet ghetto bitch that we all know from the hood, but we identify with, we like, because she was being her authentic self. Let me be clear. Glorilla came in as the ratchet ghetto bitch that we all know from the inner city communities or from the hood, and we know she don't look good enough that you want to fuck her, but you know you could kick it with her. The industry has changed her. The industry has now morphed her into something that she's not. She'll never be a sex icon. But she tried to clean herself up. That's the problem with her, and that's what's going on good with, with uh, Sexy Red. Sexy Red ain't trying to clean up like that. Sexy Red is still that same ghetto bitch. But Glorilla fucked up there. I told y'all this months ago. Oh, Glorilla is starting to lose us. She thinks she's something she's not. We'll never look at you like Ice Spice. Bitch, you built like Sid the Sloth from Ice Age. I'm sorry. You just the bitch who we call a nigga. Like, you know that you know that one homegirl that you don't even look at it like a girl, but she like a nigga? That's how we view Glorilla. You a ghetto bitch. You a ratchet hoe. That's what it is. Don't start cleaning up. And that's where you fucked up. I don't know if it was CMG, Yo Gotti, I fuck with you. I don't know if it's CMG or maybe somebody else, handlers, who knows. But regardless... In the last few months, Glorilla has been on a downward spiral. She dropped an atrocious song. Fa, fa, fa. Like, it's, it's horrible. I could probably play you a snippet. It probably won't even do the justice. But I feel I need to play the snippet for y'all to understand how garbage Glorilla has came to when she started off lightning hot. This is the... This is the atrocity. And by the way, Fabio Ford, I love you. This is no strays to you. But get your check, my brother. But Glorilla was clearly lost. As my man Joe Budden would say, a two-pack of fucking ass. Now, again, I'm not going to indict her whole career on one song. We have to be honest and we have to allow artists to miss and try things and, you know, kind of pivot. That's all a part of the game. It would be unfair if we think an artist has to be perfect. Right? However, I think the majority of people who like Glorilla has kind of said the same things I have. They just don't have the platform that I have, right? Now, again, what have I said? Let me re reiterate. 
Glorilla, we like her because she's a ratchet hood rat bitch. Sorry, I'm, I'm not being politically correct. I'll tell you what it is. She came in looking like this. Her hair was fucked up. Everything about her was fucked up. Look at her in the FNF video. She looked a hot mess. But we know a bitch that look a fucking hot mess. Gap tooth teeth kind of, you know what I mean? Lime green. She got the little fucking little baby hairs that's not babying. The wig looks atrocious. Uh, jail tats, no titties, flat ass. She kind of looked like a nigga. Dyke vibes. That's all was good. We still accepted you. You know why? Because we're in the era of loving women for being themselves. You don't need to look like Nicki Minaj. You don't need to look like Cardi B. You don't need to look like Lotto. Be yourself. But Glorilla, you done lost your fucking way. And I could tell you've lost your way because now you've gassed up by the industry that you feel like you're on some high horse that if somebody doesn't agree with your music or don't like it, they're either hating or you feel some moral superiority. Let me put you in your place as I need to. Glorilla, you've been barely hot for a year. I don't give a fuck what money um, your guy done gave you. You're a peon in this shit. You had a spark when you started. Now niggas are saying you garbage. You ain't been in this shit that long, baby girl. You ain't been in this shit like a Nicki Minaj for 10, 15 years that could really stand on your shit. You should be trying to make it to next year. Instead, you're doing all the things that's fucking it up. Now, let me give a precursor to what I'm going to show you guys um, in a few minutes. Glorilla is trying to embody the energy that she should have had the whole time, the ghetto ratchet hood bitch energy, but she's trying to embody it versus the wrong people. Baby girl, you can't embody that hood, I'm a ratchet bitch energy versus Kai Sinat and academics. You look lame. You look lame. I, I want to point this out. You look lame. Now, let me give you the things that has subsequently happened. Okay, go past it. But I do want to give you the context that everybody understand. I think this is it. Here we go. So Kai Sinat, and by the way, this is another thing I'm going to ether you with Glorilla. Glorilla, first of all, let me not use no colorful words too. Shorty, you've been, you've been in this game for a year. I've been in this game for like 10 plus. If you think you're more successful than me, you're smoking crack. And you might be a crackhead, but you're smoking crack, okay? I'm sorry to tell you. You've just been in this shit for a year. Calm your little silly ass down. But I want to address this to you because here's why I look at people like you and you sound like a fucking clown. You are bent out of shape over the motherfucking opinions of a guy who sits behind the computer, reviews music, listens to music, enjoys music, gives his opinion on music, and I'm going to show you why you, you're a fucking clown. Because you're going to try to use the same things while you're mad at this nigga. And by the way, here's the saddest part about it. Tonight you try to cop a plea. I don't know if your Gotti called you or your fucking label called you. Because I know the reality about all y'all artists. Because all y'all labels pay me. I got invoices and everything to track it all. Yours too. Y'all all send in Kai Sinat's reactions. Y'all all give a fuck about what he thinks. Y'all need him. He don't need y'all. Let me say it again. Y'all need him. He don't need y'all. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna hear your little disgusting, filthy mouth say something about me. That the nigga who you trying to cop a plea to tonight. Because you did some real bitch ass shit, Glorilla. You realize you diss Kai Sinat, who your label is probably trying to desperately give the bag to. And while trying to cop a plea to him, you still try to act gangster. So you cop the plea to Kai and try to diss me. Bitch, get your life together. If you copping a plea, cop a plea, nigga. Don't bring me into the mix. Cop a plea. So let me let me, let me me give you out a history lesson if you're lost. Yo, Glorilla, we about to apply a full court press on your ass. Gotti, hit my line. Trust me. When I, do, when I do this to the QC, P hit my line. You can hit my line too. We about to apply a full court press to her. She's feeling herself. We about to, I'm going to show her what the fuck this means. I like her music. I don't give a fuck about Gloria the person. I do like her music, initially. I don't give a fuck about her as a person. I don't care to have her as a friend. I don't care to appease her. Let me tell all these artists this. And, I'm a, and it's the reason why you're here 
reacting to me with, and by the way, them little goons in the background, I'm, I'm going to address y'all too. Y'all are some dick sucking niggas who will crash out over nothing. We don't care about your pain. And by the way, my name Big Act, nigga. I ain't, I, I ain't in fear of nobody doing nothing to me. So that gangster talk don't work. That gangster talk do not work with me. Facts. You got to do it. Don't talk about it, period. You got to do it. Do not talk about it. She blocked him. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad I got my Instagram page. If you don't follow Academics or DJ Academics TV on Instagram, you're losing out. But after she blocked him, you know, Kai Snat has a huge audience. And I, this is what I got to tell Glorilla. Glorilla. I'm going to put you on the hot stove. Your label hit you and told you to fucking apologize to Kai, nigga. You a little nigga in the game. I'm telling you this because it's a fact. You a little nigga in the game. Apologize to that nigga, bro. And by the way, I'm going to show you apologizing, but you trying to be slick like you gangster and apologize to him while dissing me. No, apologize, bitch. That's it. You not that lit. Apologize. You gonna cop a if you copping a plea, don't try to diss another nigga to try to prove you gangster. You copping a plea. You copped it. Facts. I know you from Memphis. Memphis niggas don't cop it, but you had to cop it. Facts. So before you copped it, you was trying to act tough. So of course Kai got a million fans. They're like, yo, why you block our nigga? Look at your stupid ass trying to act like you bigger than the program. You a ghetto hood bitch from Memphis, man. Nobody give a fuck about you. Stop playing. Here's the problem with you, Glorilla. You don't keep the same energy. This is why we can't respect you. You heard what you just said? Niggas is block. We gonna keep the same energy. You not keeping the same energy because Kai kept the same energy. I'm gonna show you how Kai kept the same energy. Glorilla, we not respecting that gangster shit you talking. We don't care if you're from Memphis, Compton, Chicago, nowhere, nigga. You not keeping the same energy. Didn't you say, don't come on my shit talking about niggas who's blocked. Niggas ain't, we gonna keep the same energy? You made your bed, you gotta lay there. You made your bed, you gotta lay there? Nigga. This is when Glorilla realized that her ass wasn't hot. Yo, Glorilla, let me give you the reality about your situation. You dropped that, that, fa, fa, fa. Cha cha cha, that shit did not do nothing on the charts. Yo, shit flopped, shorty. Yo, shit flopped. I'm glad you even disrespect. I'm gonna tell you why. Like, yo, let me tell you this on, on, on some real shit for all y'all artists in the industry. And this is why I'm gonna, I'm gonna go crazy at Glorilla. Yo, Gotti, ain't nothing against you, I swear. But I gotta make an example out of her. I know all y'all sucking Kai's dick. Don't disrespect me while you sucking his dick. Don't disrespect Ak while you sucking his dick. Suck his dick. Do get on your knees. Do your little gawk gawk three million, but don't disrespect act while you're doing that. Because, bitch, I'll change the whole narrative about you. Your shit not charting. Your shit been flopping. I will put the real facts in front of niggas' face to show that you're really not doing nothing. So if you're trying to suck that nigga's dick because you're trying to get back on his good side, don't try to throw me under the bus because I don't got no issue with you like that. I actually play your music and like it. So all that shit you was talking... We're not going to put you on the front seat every fucking week. Trust me. I've done it to many. You won't be the first. Definitely not the last. Okay. So that happens. That happens. And then um, Kai, who's now doing a jail stream, responded. Okay. People want to know what Kai was going to say. Kai stood on business. Big GL. Hold on. Glorilla. Wait, 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 whoa, okay. whoa, wait, wait, wait. Before I play this, I gotta play this part. Or show this part. So Glorilla last night, while riding riding around in a fucking Toyota minivan with her bunch of goons from Memphis, she's realizing her shit slowing down. She tweets out, I'm drunk right now, I might fuck around on a block high. And this is why I hate people like Glorilla because the fakeness and Glorilla, we thought you was a real bitch. This is why we fucking with Sexy Red. We thought you was real, but the industry either done changed you or you never was really like that. Because everything that we thought you stood for, existed for, you're now doing the weird shit. Oh, I'm drunk. I might fuck around on a block high. Wasn't you saying niggas lay their bed, they got to stay there? Why are you talking about Kai when you're now drunk? Oh, okay. I know why. Because the fucking industry has told you you cannot diss Kai. I'm telling y'all as a fact. Trust me. I'm the nigga who makes four or five million dollars a year off labels. 
I, I'm telling you this. No, nobody else. Me. <laughs> me. <laughs> this is why when Gloria says that, like, bitch, I'm eating your budget up anyway. So, like, this, this is why I'm keeping it light with you. <laughs> I get part of your budget. So, it's like, how could you even diss me? You know your label's going to pay me, right? Gloria, you do know this, right? And I can say this and they're still going to do it, right? Let me put this in perspective one more time. Your budget, when you're trying to, like, equal the shit and, like, where my money at? Oh, this went to act. You, you, you do know this, right? Look. Gloria, you do know this, right? And you know the person that's at your label, CMG, and the person that's at the bigger label, they're still going to do it, right? Stop acting fucking stupid. I'm going to scold you like a fucking disobedient child. Fuck all them little goons. You, see them little, you got $5 goons in the background, my nigga. Nigga, I may, have made, I may have made more of your fucking contract than you did. Stop playing with me. You can't talk to me like that. And I'm speaking facts. Let's do, we, could, we could put statements up if you're trying to, trying to little nigga me. You can't do that. Bitch, you've been in the game one year. I've been in the game for 15. Fuck is you talking about? Bitch, I'm in your record contract because you can't promote shit without a nigga like me. But you realize you fucked up because, you know, the only angle people have these days without act is Kai, nigga. You dissed him first. So you blocked his blessing that could have came to you. Now you over here dissing me? I bet. Stand on it. Stand on it and watch how we bleed your career for the next year. Facts. I'm stand I stand on mine. Because that little money that y'all giving, like, I get money from every artist. Every I've told y'all this. Every artist pays me. Remember, Meek was paying me until he realized he was paying me. <laughs> he was like, oh, shit. <laughs> the label was like, yo, you mentioned on Clubhouse, he told us to not do no more business. <laughs> Bro, I don't give two fucks, nigga. Once I have y'all little music niggas in my hands, I'm not playing with y'all. And a little check can't control the fuck out of me. So let me fully address you again, Gloria. By the way, you want to prove me wrong? Audit your label and ask how much money of your EP that sold 28000 went to act. How much of your budget? Ask him. If I'm lying, ask him. <laughs> I took that money. Did I buy a car? I didn't buy a car with it. I think I bought some shit for my mom. I put some shit into like the, the real estate market. A little bit. This is why I laugh at you, man. You and them goons in the background, you feeding them niggas motherfucking Popeyes and shit like that. Bitch, your, bitch, your record deal, I'm taking your budget. And I still don't got to be nice to you. Nothing says I got to be nice to you. Because I don't give two fucks about you. Period. Nigga, I'm talking to you like a ball should talk to you. And, I, and by the way, I'm going to get to the dumbass street nigga shit you was trying to talk. Man, you a girl, man. Stop talking to all that tough shit, man. Because to keep it real, if you was really on that tough shit... We would have believed you. You started getting all this glam shit because you're trying to act like you got a fat ass and a BBL, but you don't. You're not cute in the face. You look like Sid the Sloth from Ice Age. We don't think you cute. None of that is cool. So I'm giving you the real facts. Bitch, you can't talk about me. Yo, y'all gonna hear how she talk about me? And then I wanna, I will put up on the screen, I done got hundreds of thousands from your label. Facts. I put it on everything. You can't talk about me. You money back, yo, none of y'all. Period. I'm telling y'all, and I don't care if the label want to stop, but y'all can't stop. Nigga, I'm, I'm me. The fuck is you talking about? Stop playing with me. Gloria. Gloria. You're in the back of a fucking Toyota minivan, nigga, with 10 goons, nigga. While I'm bleeding your fucking mother, I'm bleeding your motherfucking um, budget. By the way, you know what that means? I'm glad you dissed me. The price done went up on your label. Facts. Your label got to pay me more. Facts. That's how I'm going to punish y'all bitch ass artists. Facts. Told y'all. I came in this shit. I ain't like Tony the Closer and DJ Envy and all these niggas. I, I finessed the record label straight up. Price don't went up on y'all. And y'all going to have to blame this big mouth bitch. Facts. Talk about it. See, now I'm talking bullshit to you. You can't understand because you want to talk that goon shit. Man, you a stupid-ass chick, man. Who Like, come on, stop playing. Anyway, let's get back to it, man. I'm drunk as fuck right now. Might fuck around and unblock Kai. Shorty, you ain't got an option. 
And I didn't get to the point when I, where I'm going to explain where I'm mad at. Because here's the thing. Shorty, I predicted that you was going to cop a plea. You got to cop a plea to Kai. Nobody's going to diss Kai right now. Every label, I'm telling you, there's millions of dollars being circulated in the music industry. This is my specialty. That's all trying to promote content around Kai and adjacent to their artists. You're not dissing Kai. So, you put that stupid ass message up. What does Kai say? Finally, my nigga Kai stand on business. You know why? Kai richer than you. I'm richer than you. And I dare, I dare you to talk about that. But Kai responded, and he stood on business. Big GL. Hold on. Glorilla. Oh, shit. You laid your bed. You better stay there. <laughs> now, let me say this, too. To Glorilla and the rest of y'all artists, y'all been dick-sucking streamers for the last two, three years. This is what you're going to get. Don't Y'all can't diss streamers no more. Y'all dick-sucking them. Y'all need them. Stop trying to diss the streamers you need. You niggas don't want to do interviews no more. You want to be on a stream. So just stop trying to diss these niggas like they little niggas. Every artist is saying it. Drake is saying it. Yachty's saying it. The streamers is richer than the artists. I don't care if y'all think y'all cool. Y'all really don't got shit. So anyway, Kai stood on business. Now, this is the, the most bitch ass. And by the way. Yo, we need to get, yo, we need a background check on Glorilla for this because I can't believe she's from Memphis. Everybody I know from Memphis stand on business. Everybody, let, let me say this once again. Everybody I know from Memphis stand on business. I don't know nobody from Memphis who's some bitch ass nigga. I don't know nobody from Memphis who, who's scared. But Kai said this. She tried to buck. Like she was trying to like get at him. Hear what she said. Hey, girl. Come on, he ain't seen me on the street sewing so behind the sale jersey. God, man, one of them. Now one of them. Now one of them. That behind bars ain't saving you, nigga. Fuck you, that mad boy. Walk him down in the cell. Oh my kids. Now let me pause it right here, Glorilla. You might be half retarded. You you got a little baby syndrome. You know he's not incarcerated, right? Now this is a, I got to bring this up now because. You're going to hear how she continually talks about Kai Snat. He's not incarcerated, you fucking Lincoln Pooh. Like, like, uh, Lincoln Pooh. My bad, not Lincoln Pooh. <laughs> you fucking idiot. She's not, he's not incarcerated. He's doing content. You do know this, right? No. All that walk him down in the cell shit. Now let a nigga find out what jail you bitches in. Come on. Don't let a nigga find out what jail you... Hey, you're the five dollar goon in the back. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> nigga. Shut. Yo, I I hate when the crash dummies in the back is talking. Nigga, you're getting paid eight dollars a day plus a five uh, plus a five dollar foot long from Subway. We don't want to hear the fuck what you gotta say. Come on, man. Come Hope on, man. Some. Nigga, nigga, place your order. Place. Talking about y'all gonna poke something. Yo, Glorilla, you sound ridiculous. This is why people not jacking you no more. You supposed to be a hood bitch, but you trying to be for Kai Sinat? And you think he's actually in jail? Your order, nigga. What kind of poker you want, nigga? What kind of poker he wants? Yo, Glorilla, are you dumb or you fucking stupid? Yo, Gotti, hit my DMs. Trust me, every label does. I haven't talked to you yet. We could talk. Glorilla, we on your stupid ass, okay? What you talking about? I was going to die about this shit for free. Imagine what I do for that money. You was going to die about this shit for free? Now what you would do for that money? Yo, I hate when artists try to do this fake wild and shit. Yo, Glorilla, you've been changing your whole image since you got popping. Yo, Glorilla is one of the artists. And by the way, Glorilla, this is why we going to clown him. I get you a female, so like a man beefing with a female like don't even look good. So even me addressing you don't even look good on my behalf. Kai addressing you don't look good on your behalf, on his behalf. But 
in reality, what you're talking about with all this like street shit and everything like that, bro. If you were, if you were the street ghetto bitch we thought you were, you're not using that energy to go at Kai Sinat. Am I tripping? Hey, nigga. It's money on Hey, girl. Come on. Okay. All right. So, she responded there. Um, Y'all probably saw my response earlier. I said, yo, this shit got to be some fake shit. Because I'm I'm really thinking, I'm like, Glorilla, somebody has to check her to let her realize that, number one, baby girl, you're cold. You need Kai. You can't diss Kai. So, you doing this, this is like a skit. You're going to probably be on Kai's... Um, Jail stream eventually. Chat, y'all ready for the crash out? Let's do it. Glorilla <laughs> Academics. This fucking stupid ass bitch. Because now she's getting checked by the label and everybody around her. She can't talk about Kai no more. Wait. Hold on. No, 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 I don't want no shorts. I want videos. Where's the video? Because I was watching it. Give me a second. She made a whole video. This and me. Chat, please send, send me the video, please. Send me the video, please. It's Glorilla Academics. Hold on. How do I find this shit? It's about like five minutes. Why did I save the link? I just want to, I, I want you to hear this goofy ass bitch. Like seriously. Glorilla, I'm going to have a great old time with you. <laughs> I'm going to have a great old time with you. I've been waiting for a chick like you to try to play with me. And, I, and by the way, I still like your music. But it is my mission to showcase that you're a fucking failure and to run your career into the ground. By the way, make no mistake for anybody who's saying, Ack, are you biased or not? Once a bitch like this mention my name, it's my job. Like, it's my imperative to make sure Glorilla, by the end of this year and the end of next year, is a non-fucking factor. I did it to D. Savage and a bunch of other niggas. Glorilla, welcome to the academics experience. A lot of people been on this ride. You are no different, okay? Send me the link. By the way, one of my chat links, send me the link in my DMs. I want the full link. I want to hear this goofy-ass bitch talk about me. Because here's the thing, Glorilla was trying to, like, after the whole thing with Kai, somebody must have told her, yo, you can't talk about Kai like that. Kai, like, he's, we all love him. We we pay a lot of money, whether it's to him, but we pay a lot of money to market his reaction to everything. We need him. You can't fuck with Kai. So you know what she did? She got on her knees, took her hands. I know she looked like a dyke, but she had to suck some dick. She was trying to suck Kai's dick, but then she, she was trying to be like gangster. She was trying to suck dick, but be gangster. So she's like, yo, let me throw Ack under the bus. Bitch, I ain't about to play that with you. If you sucking Kai's dick and apologizing, apologize. Sit on your fucking knees. Put your hands up there and say, dear Kai, I'm sorry. Don't throw me under the bus, shorty. You try to play with Kai and realize Kai bigger than you. You not bigger than the program. You look like Sid from Ice Age, nigga. You not bigger than the program. Cop the plea. Humble yourself and keep moving on. Them little rent goons you got with you in that fucking little, that little Kia is not going to do nothing to nobody. Not to me. Not to Kai. Who are you talking to? Now we about to let you look mad lame for the next like two years. Now your labor's going to be hitting us. And you know, you know what's going to happen? Price don't went up. Anything with Glorilla, the price that went up. I need triple. I told Kai. I'm like, yo, Kai, these bitch-ass artists, they need you, nigga. They, you don't need them. They try to play with you, nigga. Don't stand on that shit, nigga. Somebody send me the link. Give me a second. And by the way, Glorilla, here's the thing. Unlike the other irrelevant niggas who've been trying to diss me, I'm on your ass every day now. Congratulations. And all that gangster shit you was talking about, I keep saying, stop talking about it, do it. You gangster, right? Don't talk.
talk about it, do it, shorty. Because I'm going to talk about you until your career is done. Facts. Until I see, until I see a, this is how, this is how the white flags can be raised. God, he called me. He might, he might not. <laughs> Other than that, we going to get you where you need to be. Because we already got a sexy red. We don't need the fuck out of you. So, Whatever goons you had in the background, get them active. You should tell them like, yo, we need you to do this now. Because I'm telling you, um, I'm going to make sure for you speaking about me how you did tonight. And I got to, yo, give me the fucking clip chat, please. I need a whole clip. All right, I got a piece of it. <laughs> It was five minutes. I listened to the whole thing. While I, nigga, I took a shower and put the same clothes back on. <laughs> that's ghetto, ain't it? <laughs> oh, that's ghetto. That is, oh, thank you, God. Oh, Glorilla goes off on D. Here we go. Wait, what? Why can't I find it? A dig, bitch. How they scared to tell you, bitch? I'ma tell you right here out my motherfucking mouth. Fuck you, bitch. You been not Fuck you, motherfucking boy. think you talking to talk with you, hoe? Hey, hey, we real guys, man. We ain't got a plan. <laughs> nigga. Nobody planning on motherfucking yeah. skits, hoe, oh, bitch. Play with your motherfucking. Really who like love you? Yo, whoever in the background, let me tell you off rip, my nigga. Let me tell you this. Whoever you are, I, I ain't even talking to you. I don't even give a fuck what you're talking about. I only care about what your artist is saying. And all y'all get paid from her. So rather than me, I ain't got no smoke with y'all. Y'all can have smoke with me. I don't care. You know how I'm going to get at you, nigga? I'm going to get at you by your fucking artist who's running her mouth. I'm going to make sure I put my fucking foot, this foot right here, on her fucking neck. Watch. Now, fuck you, bitch. You been not fuck you, motherfucker. Think you talking to what you go? Hey, hey, we let me stop that too y'all real gangsters but y'all all live every time stop playing stop playing the memphis thing is i know it's not all live all day talking about industry shit i hate when y'all niggas be trying to act like y'all a gangster but y'all on live all time i'm an internet personality i'm supposed to be on live if you real gangsters why you on live glory and your renegoons why you on live why you on live and don't act like I'm some nigga in the multiverse, nigga. I got offices and I got studios and I, niggas know where I live at. Why are you in the why are you in the multiverse threatening? Straight up. So the little Glorilla goons. What what are you talking about? Uh, this is why I know you pussy. You mad pussy for that. <laughs> Glorilla, you mad pussy for that. So the nigga told you you made your best stay there, and you mad at me? Yo, Glorilla, you mad pussy. This is why you're you not from Memphis. Somebody find out, send me her birth certificate. She not from Memphis. A nigga literally told you after you were saying, I'm drunk, and you're trying to cop a plea. You're trying to suck his dick. Yo, Kai, my bad. I shouldn't have dissed you. I'm trying to suck your cock. And the nigga said, you made your bed to stay there, and you're mad at me? If you gangster, you'd have stood on that shit. But you're not gangster. You just some ratchet bitch trying to look like you not ratchet. How the nigga told you to stand on that shit and you mad at me? Why Glorilla is a stupid ass bitch. And I'm going to use this language and I don't give a fuck if she get offended. He's not locked up, you idiot. You fucking bird brain. Whore. He's not locked up. Keep K, free K, so y'all all that shit in. He's not locked up, you fucking idiot. Nigga, fuck academia. Fuck glad, nigga. Oh, fuck academics, you ugly ass nigga. Yo, Glorilla, remember I told you this. I promise you on this. CMG, y'all holler at me about Glorilla. The price done tripled. I can take disrespect, but as long as my bank account get fatter. I'll take the disrespect, but my bank account definitely will get fatter. Gloria, look, look at you. You a stupid bitch. So let, let me put you on game. I've been eating up your budget, bitch. Eating that up. Every time you thought you was getting money, 
I was getting money with you, stupid dummy. <laughs> oh, fuck academics. All right, well, you just raise the price on your own goddamn label. Your label about to hit me. Hey, Glorilla's dropping this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You just say Glorilla? Price done triple, bitch. Glorilla, audit your label, my nigga. I'm telling you this. Nigga, I can show you hundreds of thousands of dollars I took from y'all. Facts. Y'all don't see me in Vegas gambling like hundreds of thousands of dollars? What you think is my money? I took from the fucking labels, nigga. I don't rob niggas on some DJ Envy, whatever shit, nigga. I take it from the labels. You want your music promoted? I'm the nigga. Facts. Come on, holler at me. But when y'all stupid ass artists try to disrespect me, I'm like, man, I done ate your budget up. I ate your budget up. I ate your budget up. And you know why I could talk like that? Because, cool, here's the thing. If you, well, at least from what I know, Kai not taking our bread. I'm taking our bread. Facts. <laughs> I told Kai, like, this is what I told Kai. I said, Kai, these stupid ass musicians and shit, bro, the music industry got billions of dollars. Don't be on your shit reacting to these bitch ass niggas for free. Take their money, my nigga. These musicians be acting like they the king, nigga. Why they not getting no bread? You not seen Glorilla on my page for nothing but money, nigga. Facts. So this bitch, what she talking about? We about to, we about to tax the shit out of you. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you, listen, the more shit you talk, I'm getting more money from you. I done got 100000 from this bitch already. Like, what she talking about? And tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. I blow the whole situation up. I, everybody know. Word to everything. I put everything on the screen. Everybody know. The fuck is you talking about? Nigga, it's a big act, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? You a hood bitch who, you a hood bitch who really got on because niggas had to pay the way, nigga. And you done fell off. What's up? Somebody tell me I'm lying. Fuck wrong with you, hoe? What the fuck you think you talking to, bitch? Oh I'm talking to you, Glorilla. Gloria, I'm talking to you. Gloria, I'm talking to you. Your goon's not gonna do nothing, and your label's gonna still pay me, so who's winning? So DJ Academic straight up violates Glorilla now. If you don't know where this beef is stemming from, Glorilla, she went live and she addressed Kasanat. Kasanat was in jail on his jail stream, his fake jail stream, of course. Let's fucking make that very clear. He is not in actual jail. I mean, he has Tiana Trump as one of the CEOs right now. Like, let's be perfectly clear and honest. This man Kai isn't in jail. He's in jail with his homies, you know, and they're just having a good time. You got free Tory on wanting to sell walls it's, it's crazy in there right now it's a lot of fucking clout chasing going on at the moment but that's neither here nor there of course he's clout chasing of course everybody else wants to clout chase off whatever kai's doing because they know that has numbers and views written all over it so krishan rock will be there and Ali chopper was there and he has more people showing up and apparently glorilla might show up they might squash the beef while kai's in jail think about that a man is fake playing in jail and somebody's gonna come and visit him while he's in the cell this, this is this is ridiculous this is crazy but glorilla she hopped on live to address it all address everything and she took the time out to go in on dj academics so dj academics he caught wind of all of this and when i mean when i when i tell you this man woke up <laughs> he woke up at eight o'clock this morning eight o'clock this sunday morning and chose violence that's exactly what academics did and he chose for at least he went in he went off he went off on, on glorilla he went off on her goons in the background he went off on all of them and one of the goons in the background was like yeah let's set up the boxing match between us two i'm like a boxing match the fuck does this guy even think he is he is he is literally goon in background number one in the credits what is he talking about right now boxing match i don't even know what this guy looks like but either way of course glorilla has her entourage 
entourage backing her up in this entire moment and academics has his chat niggas ready to go to war for him as well so we're gonna see how this is gonna play out academics said he's gonna dedicate the next what six months violating her so look he's going in on glorilla and of course some people had to put their cape in and come save her so we gotta talk about saucy santana and young miami going off on academics but before we get into that video click like on this video click subscribe to this video let me know what you think about dj academics straight up violating glorilla i am savvy mike and this is i am savvy mike tv peace